One, two, three, four. <laughs> all right welcome 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 i'm super freaking pumped because this is one of the greatest online educators ever and i've watched freaking how many you got like 77 courses by now right <laughs> 78 yeah right. Right. <laughs> yeah really i don't look a day over 70 exactly right he's been he's been doing it since he was 73 <laughs> and he's actually 27 so anyways <laughs> amazing true fire instructor corley congelio corey i can't even talk too much coffee. Corey Congelio. You just made it too. Yeah, it's starting to kick in. <laughs> but anyways, he does something that I am not, he does a lot of things I'm not good at, but awesome, awesome, awesome at playing blues stuff, whether it's like sophisticated sounding blues or real chordal stuff. I am so not that guy. So I thought, man, Corey's in town. He is that guy. Let's do a couple of things where you're going to show people how to spice up just rhythm wise how to right. play a four, uh, one, four, five. Sure. But then in part dos, we'll do some soloing and that kind of right. stuff too. How do you even start? You know, like obviously this this is my level of sophistication when it comes to one, four, five blues playing, unless it's like a ZZ Top song. Right. Where do you even start? Like well, what kind of chords the whole One bit? of the things we talked about was, you know, people get intimidated about once you start doing stuff that's like, you know. Right. Because yeah. because it's a very nebulous region uh, of the guitar that's not very root note centric. Sure. So start learning. If, if you're not comfortable with your notes on the fretboard, that's okay. There's a lot of people that are. I've yeah. been professionals Me that too. aren't. You know? <laughs> and if you're doing this, right. well, you have a lot of stuff covered already. You yep. already have a root note and you have a fifth. So you yep. have A and E. Well, if you took an octave, there's A and A. Yep. If you have an E, here's E and E. Yep. And then if you have an A here, which you already know because you just did that, mm -hmm. then you have A and A, and then you have E and E yeah. or A and A. There's ways to find them. Yep. The guitar is the easiest instrument to cheat on a lot, not cheat on like, you right. know, you know <laughs> right. hey, you cheat on me, right, you're right. That's you right. Exactly. But like, as far as finding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like finding shortcuts, you right. know, and the shortcuts are fine yeah. as long as it gets you from point A to point B. Sure. And, and because, look, we want to have fun. Yeah. I mean, so many people, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but so many people get frustrated because um, someone has led them down a path that now they're like walking around in the woods. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I know too yeah. much or I don't know. Right, right. Like, exactly. Let's just get you there and have fun. Yep. Teach you to catch a fish first and then we'll go back yep. and teach you the technique. Mm -hmm. you know? Right, right, right. So, so in addition to really kind of knowing where you're going on the guitar, which is so important, you know, if you take... That that A seven bar chord that's okay. really common. And, yep. You know, I remember seeing Robin Ford years ago. He would just go. Yeah. And he said, if that's not good, enough good, yeah. then you got a hole in your soul. Like, that's what <laughs> right. he said. So what 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 a, uh, someone showed me once was this thing that he called the kernel chord. Okay. Because it really outlined all the four notes of a of a dominant seven chord, okay. which are important to kind of start wrapping your ear around those tones. So you have a root, you have a flat five. You have your third, your major third, yeah. and then you have an E. So it's A, G, C sharp, E. And that seems to be, like, those chords in particular, it seems to be that's where, like, the jazz and blues kind of line exactly. starts getting Exactly. There's a little more sophistication yeah. because the notes, we're gonna what we're able to do, if we know those, we can start to seek out inversions. Yep. So any combination of those four notes sure. is an inversion. I used to say it doesn't matter what ingredients you put in the soup, it's yeah. still the soup yep. at yeah, the end for sure. of the day. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of where your soup can start. Now, I never play that chord. It's yeah. not comfortable for me. I don't, yeah. like, I don't like the way it sounds. Big chord, right? But notice what you were doing. You were going, mm -hmm. what do I want to do? I want to get out of your way. Yeah, right. So I'm going to play this okay. or this. So if you play that rhythm, so, yeah. just on the one chord. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so what are those? These are all seventh chords. Yeah, no, but what are the what are the inversions? Break sure. them down real quick. Okay, so, so, so let's do a couple of my favorites. Okay. Um, what we'll do is my favorite is is just this because that is if you think about it, here's a major chord. It's like I played a major bar chord and I added the seventh there. Right, and you're basically just taking taking that guy. Yeah. And right. why do I want to do that? Because I want to get out of your yeah, way. Yeah, bass player There's, too. And the bass player, yeah, of course. Right. I always talk about that. Or a left hand keyboard player. Yeah. You don't want it all that mud. Right. You know, Everybody always forgets keyboard guys. Yeah. <laughs> Well, who needs keys? Okay, so anyways. <laughs> you said it, I did. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I'll say it for you. Yeah, okay. Right. So, but that's one of my favorite ones. So it's just, um, it's a, it, I call it a rootless A7, okay. which a lot of these will be, but it's it, the fifth in this case mm -hmm. is an E, and it's the lowest note in yeah. the chord. Is it, because it's rootless, you can move it around so much. Well, sure, yeah, <laughs> right. It's so rootless. <laughs> it ain't planted like a so, tree. So you just go A for me, go. Okay, I okay. like that. Now, yeah. we're, now we're just triple up. Now you and I are two guitar players, and we've created this cool yeah. thing, which is so something that so often people say is, yeah. like, I play with this other guitar player, I don't know yep. what to play. Right. Because everybody starts doing that. Yep. So this stuff starts to really help. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. Know? And then if you noticed, so then we have this other one, which is also coming from here too. Okay. So we're just going to play, now we're going to play the flat seven, the C sharp, and the E. So okay. now we have a three note chord yeah. that the root lives there. Okay. Right? So it's just that. And if you're not familiar with that, I always say play a D chord and then just move it up a okay. set of strings. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a great And, and that's, great. that's a tough one for folks, of, you know, because there's no root note in it. There's no yeah. A. But I try to make visual, uh, you know, sort of guides where I'm like, okay, well, here's the A. Yeah. So I can just kind of look down the and see fret. the flat seven. <laughs> same fret. <laughs> right. Dude, if, if you're in early stages of playing yeah. this stuff, like, I look for those things all the time. I right. Mean, I'm playing on stages where I have to hit a pedal and I have to run to a catwalk to play a solo. Yeah. I'm looking for the dots. Yeah. I ain't too proud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, go ahead. If you got, if you, if you, people that play classical guitar, like, go ahead and put tape on it, friends. Yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah, I whatever know, it takes to make music. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that's a great one, too. So then what happened was, I don't know if you noticed it, but if we go back and listen to what we just played, you'll notice that when you're going, I'm making little melodies now. Mm -hmm. I'm going, horn parts yeah for you know, sure now it's like break break that down real quick so sure. people see you doing so that. what i'm doing is i'm playing that so you're just literally dropping it down i'm just going to have a step yep, you know that in the back i don't want to talk about the tritone substitutions yeah. and all that but Good, me neither. <laughs> I mean, you're literally because you're coming, you're you're resolving back into what the ears used to, so you can almost go either direction as long yeah. as you're coming back to, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is, how I'm, good he is at that stuff. All right, <laughs> I'm so. creating little melodies. <laughs> yep. You know, on all these little inversions. Yeah. And like what I just did there is. Right. So that's just, the classic sort of walk up we'll do that dramatically. Break, sure. That's, that's so that's on. So imagine that's our A7 chord now. And in this case, an A is on the fourth string, yep. so it's it's something that's you know you can definable. You can see yeah. it as an A. But I just went. Yeah. So if we're if you start the blues, a one, yeah. two, three, four. So it's you're just, looking for the root of the of the yeah. D chord. So what a lot of a lot of my students and people that will contact me online, they say, "Man, I just want to play by myself." Yeah. And I want to sound like what you just did. Yeah. So what I could do is if if you would let me indulge. Yeah, do it. You know, I could just play. That's what you're here for. So I can go.
So those little chord shapes now yeah. went into your uh, your lead playing. Yeah. And that's stuff where I used to hear like Wes Montgomery, yeah. Kenny Burrell, or one of those kinds so of guys. Freaking and good. then you put it into your plan. Yeah. And then when you hear, you know, one of the the Robin types, you know, yeah. that's going three, four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever, uh, you know, I lost track of it. But, you know. Right, right. No that was awesome. So it becomes, it becomes like becomes jazz, a, blues, funk. Exactly. Yeah, which is amazing. Okay, so wait, wait. When um, you kind of broke down the one chord a little bit, what, yeah. are, what are a couple other options they can do for like the four and the five? Sure, chord? of course. So lots of folks. I always start with the bar chords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. You know, if we played uh, acoustic guitar or something, mm-hmm. we played probably an A7 like this. Mm-hmm. Which essentially is what I just played here yeah. with the finger behind it. Mm-hmm. But then lots of times you'll do the Stevie Ray Vaughan one. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason you keep can't move keep that here. That way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to just yeah, 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 yeah. so you can validate. I, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit it so I'll see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then there's D7 here. E7 there. Oh, okay. Because we did it here. So yeah. don't be afraid to move your open chord shapes yeah. that you learned from acoustic guitar yeah. around. Yeah. So that's that's a cool one. So you have that. that and, so, and again, what what I've done with some of the courses I've developed is that I'm I'm going to kind of uh, try to build on what I think you already know. Yeah. If people are playing, you know, that A7 chord, yeah. I want to show you connect the other dots. Yeah. And that's a really fun one. Yeah. Because that's a good sounding chord because yeah. it's got the flat seven on top. Sure. And it's just an A triad yep. right there. And then when you go here, it's for D mm-hmm. and E on the ninth fret. Okay, cool. And then of course you have your bar chord here. Yep. So let's think of another one that's really fun. Well, what you can do is since you probably played a C chord in your life mm-hmm. and you played a C7, okay. you can just move that baby. Yeah, right. Up there. D7. E7. Okay. And just make sure that you're muting the lo- the sixth and uh, first string. Yeah. So. Oh, that's good. Again, like that's something I would always see um, players like Robin and, and such forth, so forth do is. Mm-hmm. Now you're new. There's your new shape. Mm-hmm. There's your new shape. You know, and you can yeah. put that in. You know. It's all about those top notes yeah. moving around, creating new melodies. Well, and it just, it sounds, yeah. it's not really that much more difficult, no. but it sounds so much cooler at the end yeah. of the day. Because, like, if you go to a blues bar and you're in your freaking 45th round of a blues jam and everybody's playing that same and one, three four, people five, are going dun, 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 right? dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, do, do yourself you a favor. <laughs> right? Yeah. Learn some of these chords. So what we're yeah. going to do is take this next, you know, kind of way of thinking about expanding your blues playing and we're gonna have you do it with uh, a little bit of lead playing too sure but i mean you're all i mean you kind of did it there too you, you were playing your yeah. own rhythm section at the same time Ex- exactly and you're using that stuff as um uh n- new new vocabulary yeah for your lead playing i need new vocabulary really bad i, I know about 12 words my girlfriend's got a way better vocabulary than me <laughs> so i learn i'll you know, right, right, right. I, I need more of the of the grammar. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I'll help you with other. Stuff. Right, right, right. I, I got I got the one punctuation thing down. But right, I, I need a lot of help. Um, awesome, dude. Well, thank you for the, for yeah, the rhythm. And then, uh, like I said, join us for uh, round two. I'll put a lead section two after this one as well. Leave some comments in the section because I'm going back out to Nashville. Corey's another Nashville cat, and uh, spread love. It's we're the gonna, Nashville way. That's right. That's I, wore the, right. I wore the shirt and everything. <laughs> I'm going to be there. So ask questions in the comment section. Maybe he can chime in. I'll chime in. But I'm going to be there again is my point. So I'll be able to ask him some more questions. Awesome. Don't forget to check out Corey's stuff below. I'm going to leave some of his links below. You got Insta. You got, we got a, a thousand courses. So where, where, do you, yeah. where do you want people to find you? You can find me. If you go to my website, you'll find links for everything. You okay. can find my courses there. You can find my social media there. Oh, perfect. You can, you can link to my channel. Is it just your name? There too. It's my name, CoreyCongilio.com. I'll put it down. What would you call me? 
<laughs> it's got the whole mustache thing going on. That's, so, that's right. Yeah. I'll put the, I'll put all the stuff You'll down in the description box below. So check it out.